Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Dom Dumas, and I'm in Bangkok. Exciting Times, Episode 35. Now, before I get into this episode, I really need to talk about my last episode, which you can find at domdumas.com forward slash 34, and that was called Angry News. I'm not going to apologize about it, but what I'm going to say is sometimes in life, myself, like a lot of other people, like most of you who are, are listening or watching my podcast, um, you need a chance to vent. And for that particular, at that particular time, I kind of needed to vent with what I saw was going on in the news around the world, not just in football, you know, just in general. And I, to be honest, I feel great now that I've got it off my chest. It's out there. I don't have to think about it, at least for the time being. I'm not going to say there's not going to be any more angry or ranting podcasts, but I'm sure at some point in time, I'm going to do at least another one. Well, I'm sure I'm going to do a lot more because I plan on doing this for a very long time. But anyway, uh, that's done. We're over with. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I really don't want to give these type of people any more power than they've already got. So anyway, exciting times. The reason they're exciting for me, this is what I want to talk about. There's a lot of things that are going on right now that for me, I find exciting. For example, uh, not too long ago, I did an unboxing video and you'll see that video right over here, or at least a preview of that video right over here. What I did is I unboxed my new camera, uh, which is a Nikon D5500. It's something I've kind of wanted for a long time, and I didn't reference the person who kind of ins re-inspired me into taking pictures, and that would be Eric, Eric Henson. And I hope he's coming to visit here soon. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but uh, I... I Try, I'm going to try and get him on the show. But anyway, enough about that. The camera, I love it. It records video, so I plan on using that for my vlog. I don't plan on using it for my podcast because simply it's just, it only records about 35 minutes. Sorry, 35 minutes. It only records about 20 to 30 minutes of video roughly uh, because it only records four gigabytes of information. Um, but that has I have lots of other cameras that I can do recording on like right now I'm recording on my uh, my computer so on my MacBook so and I plan on sticking with that and uh, so that's uh, what I'm do using right now but I have the, this camera is fantastic it is the first touchscreen camera that touch touchscreen DSLR camera that it was on the market I I can't tell you how new it is. Um, it's new for me. It's a brand new camera, but I absolutely love it. I, I'm taking pictures. I'm recording my vlog, some of my vlog on it. I'm really getting to learn it now. And I've also recorded uh, another. I didn't record my. I recorded a vlog with that camera of me fixing the kitchen sink, and I'll put that right here also. Uh, I love the camera. It's great. Now I have a lot to learn about it, and I really need to learn a lot more about it, uh, in particular of taking raw photos, because I was a little bit confused about that. So uh, I, I'm still learning. I, I'm always learning. I love learning. Um, so, but yeah, I love the camera. It's amazing. Well worth it, and I can't wait to to use it more and more. So that's number one is my new camera and I, I absolutely love it. And the next thing I wanna talk about is the Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings. They had another great preseason. They went 4-0. Uh, they have their home opener coming up this Sunday at the, the brand new stadium, which is gonna be really exciting. Although they're playing the Green Bay Packers, I'm a little bit stressed. I'm hoping that they're gonna beat them, but I had we had some bad news as a Vikings fan and as the Vikings players. Those of you that follow the NFL, the American Football League, uh, sorry, the National Football League. For those of you that are not uh, uh, that are not acquainted with that, in America, it's American football, but on the professional level, the Minnesota Vikings have this beautiful, brand new stadium, and there's a big rivalry for since the Vikings were created between the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. So it's going to be a big game. I hope my boys win. But anyway, the bad news was 
the game right before the last game of the preseason, our quarterback that was supposed to take us all the way this year tore his ACL and dislocated his knee. Now he's having reconstru- he's had reconstructive surgery and everything is looking really good, but it is absolutely a, it was absolutely a season ending injury unfortunately. So that is kind of a downer. Now we have some we had a good quarterback, Sean Hill. Um, Tracy, lover, she came up with a great nickname for him. She calls him Sean Over the Hill, and I tend to use that. Sorry, Sean, if you if this podcast ever gets back to you, it, there's no disrespect meant in calling you Sean Over the Hill. It's just you're a little bit older than a lot of the starting quarter, starting quarterbacks in the league. That like this is like your first starting kind of NHL game, uh, NHL sorry NFL game. But you last week. We had a game against the uh, Tennessee Titans, and you did a really solid job. You did everything that the Vikings needed you to do, which we loved. Um, Granted, everybody got started off on the Vikings side. Everybody got started off to a bit of a slow start. At the end of the first half, we were down 10 to nothing, but we had a great pick six by Kendricks. Oh! It was great. For those of you that don't follow American football or don't know anything about American football, a pick six is when the quarterback throws the ball and our guy intercepts it. He catches it. So we're on the opposite team. We catch the ball and run all the way for a touchdown, which is six points. Kendricks, excellent job. Love you, brother. And then we had uh, Hunter who recovered a fumble and ran it back in for a touchdown also. Yes. So we ended up winning the game 26 to 16. I'm actually got to look at that now to to make sure for some reason it just doesn't sound right. 25 to 16. I apologize for that. 25 is 16. So we did an excellent job um God, the Vikings we're starting with a new quarterback. Uh he just recent well, as far from everything that I've heard so far He's going to be starting in week two. His name is Sam Bradford. A lot of good things I've heard about him. I hope he's really into... I hope he's kind of learned our playbook enough at least to start. You know, the Vikings really wanted him. I'm, everybody's... Re- oh, reading the news about it was kind of scary because so many people have given the Vikings such a bad time for trading... for giving up what they did for it. Um... What they did to to get him was just kind of scary. We gave up a first round pick and a and a fourth round pick. So, but we'll find out in this game. We'll see how he does. But you know, we have a really really strong defense, and they're they're doing awesome so far. We have a good offense, although I still struggle with supporting Khalil. He's, in my opinion. One of our weakest offensive linemen, although he is a, a former pro bowler, but it's just kind of, I don't know. He, Everybody has raved about him, and every year that they they said, oh, he's going to be great this year, he's just, in my opinion, he's dropped the ball. I, I felt we should have traded him. We should have got rid of him, cut him, I don't care, whatever. But so far this year, he's doing really well. Now, I don't know if that's because Boone is helping him out. But he's doing great. So I'm really excited for the Vikings. And I really hope Teddy Bridgewater uh, recovers well. We hope to have him back next season. But, you know, it was a great start to the season this year. Vikings are 1-0. Let's go, boys. Uh, next, the sport that is really close to my heart that I've really kind of fallen back in love with which is ice hockey nhl starts here soon preseason starts on september 26 and we that's the minnesota wild the minnesota wild are playing the sabers and then the season opener is on october 16th where we play the blues so i'm really excited about that we've got a really good team i don't know enough about the coach that we have decided that the the head office has decided to hire i personally felt that they should have kept torchetti but that's again that's just my opinion 
but yeah I keep bumping the camera I apologize for those people that are getting a, hopefully it will stable out but um, for those of you that are listening to my podcast you don't have to worry because you don't see the shake but I just realized I bumped my desk where my camera is sitting and it really caused my camera to, to wobble but anyway yeah so I'm really excited about NFL the NFL is is the the Vikings are doing really good they had a, an excellent preseason and the the Vikings have won their first game they're looking really strong to play against the Packers my friend Rob is really kind of going to hate me if the Vikings win again uh, but you know I, I think we can do it plus the NHL I'm so excited about hockey this year it's kind of kind of scary um, especially since Teddy went down I was really worried and I was kind of like you know what the hell with uh, football let's watch hockey let's get hockey started but we'll see um, everything looks pretty good sorry about that bump I kicked the desk um, and then we I have Tracy and I have a, a friend coming to visit which I talked about a little bit just a bit uh, here at the beginning of my podcast that is Eric Henson he's coming to visit again here in October and we're really looking forward to that he's this will be his second time here and he was here last time loved having him here got to see some really exciting things that I'd never seen before because he was here which is really kind of cool for me um, but we're going again we're going someplace I've never been before and it, the great thing is is we're going someplace that's going to be some great for some pictures uh, it's I love going camping I don't know how rustic we're going for our camping but we're going to a place called Khao Yai which is going to be for me a lot of fun because I love going to places like that and I'm going to use my camera I'm going to do some vlogging while I'm up there Eric is supposed to do some podcasting with me um, and there's from what I understand there's lots of beautiful places to take picture of I'm so I'm really excited about that um, so again this is like lots of exciting things happening um, I didn't podcast last week because I don't know to be totally honest um, I was kind of upset I got a phone call I've been off of karate for too long now it's going on three weeks because I injured my shoulder here um, I think it's a, an injury that I had acquired before I before I even moved to Thailand really uh, but when I went and had it, I finally had it checked out. I mean, I wasn't going to karate as often as I would because as often as I wanted to because I felt really limited with my shoulder. When it would start to feel good, I'd go to karate and then it would start to hurt. And then I'd be off for a few days. So it was like really kind of hard for me. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to get it checked out. Come to find out I have arthritis in my shoulder, which is no big deal. But I also had tendonitis in the bicep and the upper part that goes up into the shoulder. And I had uh, another thing which is very similar. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But I have another thing which is very similar to repetitive stress disorder, which is basically the muscles around my shoulder have been kind of overly tensed to help protect my bicep uh, where the tendonitis is. Because uh, to be honest, I didn't know I had tendonitis in my bicep. My bicep didn't really hurt. Uh, but it because it had been tense for so long from trying to protect it it was causing pain in other parts of my shoulder so I, I had some physical therapy and they had me on medication to help relax those muscles it's feeling pretty good I have an appointment tomorrow to go see the doctor and I hope he's gonna give me the go-ahead to go back to karate so that will be exciting um, and then last Sunday well not last Sunday let me let me go back a little bit after my podcast and vlog about the Bangkok Ice Hockey League, it was a few weeks later, I received an email from this gentleman and he was really interested in what I had, had said about during my podcast and he wanted to meet and discuss a few things and I was really excited about that and then he introduced another person who into the email that is a part of the Bangkok Ice Hockey League and his name is uh, well the person who originally contacted me was John uh, John I'm not gonna even try to pronounce your last name because I don't want to butcher it I apologize uh, but he introduced me to another a, friend, a fellow teammate of his called Christian 
um, and they wanted to meet me and discuss a few things um, and so we met last Sunday and as a matter of fact both of these guys play for the Thunder which is not the team I chose when Tracy and I went to go watch the hockey game uh, which was the Thunder versus the Warriors. I chose the Warriors. Sorry, guys, I made a mistake in that. If you watch my vlog, you'll see that. But the the nice thing was they were they were great. They were really great guys. A lot of fun to meet. Uh, we had a lot, a really good discussion. They were playing for the championship of their league last weekend, and they won actually, which was really exciting. And I was rooting for them. And and who were they playing against? The Warriors. Sorry, Warriors, nothing against you, but, you know, they they contacted me, you know, th guys from the Thunder. Um, another exciting thing is that that we had discussed about uh, they have, they're starting a new league starting in November, roughly, which is the CM Hockey League. It... There used to be another league that is now defunct, and they're kind of doing a restart with a new name. They're going to have a bit of a draft, and I think the plan is right now that they're going to have four teams. They have about 100 guys trying out, and they're, they have trying out. They have about 100 guys that are interested in playing, and they're going to distribute them around the, the four teams, which should be really cool. Um, it's supposed to be really competitive. Um, also, before I get too far into this, I made a mistake when I told you, told you guys about the ice hockey rink. I was completely wrong, and I apologize about that. It is very, very close to official size. Uh, maybe, what did I hear? They, they told me it was about a foot short long and about a foot short wide from a, an official NHL rink, which is kind of interesting. Um, it does look smaller, but as John said in my vlog, and I'll, I'll put a link to that here, um, it could be it could have been you know you you picture a hockey rink inside of a shopping center and a mall, and you think it can't be as big as a regular rink, but it is actually really great guys. We had a great discussion. The, things seem to be looking really really good for that, um, and their plan, at least John and and Christian's plan. Um, is for me to be the official podcaster f for this particular uh, show, which is going to or sorry, particular uh, league, which would be really exciting. I would really love that. Um, and I'm hoping that this goes through. Uh, there's a lot of things that they have going on that is going to be leading up to the the start of the SHL Hockey League. And, you know, that would be amazing and I want to be involved in all of that and John and Christian at this point in time they want me to or at least as, as per our meeting they want me to be involved with that so I'm really looking forward to that so like I said I have so much going on that I'm so excited with all of this um, I'm loving it I'm really excited about this then I have some other plans some of it I, I don't want to discuss because I don't want to give everything away but yeah I'm really excited with the things that I have going on in in my life with everything that's going on with the NFL with things that are, the NHL getting ready to start uh, World Cup is going on I haven't really been following that very much but it's been kind of exciting a lot of the wild players have been chosen for their home countries or home areas like North America they've got North America this year instead of USA and Canada and they have I think just a European team I'm not sure I have to look more into that but anyway a lot of the Minnesota wild players are playing for that but um, so that's really exciting. Uh, my my camera, I'm loving it. Eric's coming soon. I'm excited about that. Going to Cal Yai, that's going to be really exciting. This thing that's going on with the CM Hockey League, if that goes through, that's really exciting. I'm excited about it possibly going through. So yeah, I think that's going to be like, like as you see, I'm I'm so excited. It's just like I hope all of these things, most of these things, are going to go through. Um, hopefully all of them go well. So I'm going to end that here because I feel like I'm kind of rambling on for you guys again. So I want to thank you very much for listening. And I want you to always remember that you can't eat anger. You need to find a way to to release it from time to time. And usually 
what you should do is try to find constructive ways of releasing it like I did with my last podcast. I ranted. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Please rate my show or leave a comment or make suggestions of what you would like me to talk about. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Dom Dumas, on Twitter at Dom Dumas, and on Instagram, Dom underscore Dumas. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.